So I'm picking up where we left off with blood th flow through the heart. In the last video, we ended with the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava dumping their blood into the right atrium that when the heart pumps, the tricuspid valve opens and all of that blood rushes into the right ventricle. And the right ventricle is this section right here. It is separated from the left ventricle by the septum here. That's the septum. That's what divides the heart in half. Then when the heart pumps again, the blood is going to pump up into your pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery is the only artery in the body that carries blood without oxygen. As we talked about in blood vessels earlier, arteries carry blood with oxygen in it. Veins carry blood without oxygen in it. But when you're working with the heart and going between the lungs and the heart, those actually reverse. So the pulmonary artery, which is the artery that carries blood from the heart to the lungs, is actually the only artery in the body that carries blood without oxygen because it's going to the lungs to pick that up. So you have the pulmonary artery here. It, it branches off into the left and the right pulmonary artery. Those thi the, that blood circulates through the lungs. It picks up oxygen there, which I'll cover a little bit more when we get to the respiratory system in the next video. Then they, that blood returns in the pulmonary veins. And much like the pulmonary arteries, what they usually carry for arteries and veins is reversed. So the pulmonary veins are the only veins that carry oxygen-rich blood. So you have the right pulmonary veins and the left pulmonary veins, and they come in and they dump the blood that they're carrying here into the left atrium. The heart pumps again, opens the bicuspid valve, and all of the blood flows into the ventricle, the left ventricle down here. Once the heart beats again, it pushes all of the blood up through the aorta, which is the largest artery in the body. And then the aorta sends all of its blood off in different directions. You have the three spouts of the aorta here at the top of the arch, and then it curves back down to provide blood to the lower extremities. Now, um, this is just a quick diagram of what you would see if you were looking at a heart with um, a pacemaker attached. So where they put those pacemakers. So this is what you're looking at here. What they do with those things. So uh, you're looking at this from uh, the front. And what you're looking at here is these nodes that they attach to a battery pack, which will shock the heart to get it back in regular rhythm. And a lot of people have misconceptions about what pacemakers and um, what defibrillators will do. A lot of times they're used to try and bring people back from the dead when you see these things in media and in movies. But what actually happens with a defibrillator is it actually stops the heart. And you're hoping that when the heart stops, it will come back online. It will start back up again with a regular rhythm. And the same thing for a pacemaker. It senses when the heart is having an irregular rhythm, shocks the heart to stop it, so that it, when it starts beating again, it comes back with a regular rhythm. So that is the end of this set of slides. We are finished with the heart now. Please make sure that you, if you're confused by the way blood flows through the heart, 
please make sure that you watch this a couple of times so that you can see because that's going to be really important for your test.